Hi everyone, welcome back to our electronics repair. Uh, today we have this concert AB-502B. I am here in the Philippines and trying to fix this uh, amplifier for my brother-in-law. So currently it's not working and the left channel is not working, only the right channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, test the older transistor when we power up the amplifier. So uh, have a look at the, this circuit here. So first, to test the amplifier before we power up the amplifier, so I'm going to test the base emitter uh, for short, for any short. So base emitter then to collector, then collector to to base. So all the combination, check all the transistors. If there's any short. So since I already tested all the transistors, they are all good and there's no short circuit on all the transistors so now i'm going to test the base emitter voltage on so we'll set the multimeter to 20 volts or 2 volts so what i'm going to do is to test the base emitter voltage which is roughly from 0.4 volts to 0.5 volts and the supply voltage is plus and minus uh, 37 volts so let's power up the amplifier so can you plug the the amp for me please? Uh, where's that? This one. So first I'm going to test the voltage on the collector collector. So with respect to ground. So the collector is one in the middle of eight of all the transistors. So we have 38 volts. So this transistor is a C5198 which is NPN so they have 38 volts and the other PNP transistor is A1941 so it also have negative 38 volts so they all have negative 38 volts so on also on the left channel this PNP transistor is A1941 and the middle which is negative 38 volts here negative 38 volts and the NPN which is a C5198 which is uh, 38 volts here on the collector side so what I'm going to do is to test the base emitter voltage so because it's a very low voltage 0.4 to 0.5 so I'm going to test a centimeter to 2 volts range so let's uh, test the base emitter voltage for the NPN and change the polarity so for the NPN which is C9 C5198 so we have 0.4 volts so which is good so this is what we we need to uh, bias the transistor so from 0.4 to 0.5 volts so we have 0.4 volts here and for the PNP transistor we also have up to 0.4 volts but in negative so we have negative 4.401 and also here so we have negative 0.416 so now we are going to test the left channel which we have the problem left channel is ordinarily not working so so test the left channel base emitter voltage we have zero volt here so zero volt that's because I already removed uh, the culprit for this uh, or the, the, the main problem with this one so I'll show you what what, what with the problem with this one but before I disconnect or took the transistor driver transistor the base emitter voltage here it's reading and uh, only 0.14 volt which is not enough to bias the transistor to get it working so let's have a look at the uh, the internal of this one, the, uh, the back of this uh, PCB. So
So I originally posted this one to our Facebook group in Electronics Technician Enthusiasts and Engineers group in Facebook and I asked for a schematic diagram unfortunately and there's no schematic diagram that we could source from the internet also for the AV502B for the concert uh, amplifier so what I did is I just trace the circuit and draw the schematic diagram from this piece of uh, paper so so we have all this schematic diagram here so we have this transistor here that we're measuring this is a C5198 and through uh, this one is 0 0.225 ohm and also this one is 0 0.25 Similarly with the one in the bottom here. And zero point. Okay, so here we have pro the problem is we have this transistor, we don't have a bias voltage on the base emitter base emitter of the transistor on all transistors. This is this is schematics only for the left channel. So we don't have the base emitter voltage. And the base emitter voltage is biased through A940 transistor, and also the EPN is also biased through C273. But this transistor also biased from the it's coming the voltage is coming from the C02N uh, 551, and also this uh, 5401 2N. And similarly, the this transistor also is. The bias voltage for this one is coming from this differential transistor, in, differential input transistor here. So right here. So when I measure the base emitter voltage on on this part here, I have 0 0.5, which is good. But when I measure the voltage on the on this upper transistor here, the 5551, and base emitter voltage doesn't have voltage. So the emitter is connected through, uh, so the base is connected through the input through a resistor, 33k ohms res resistor, which is connected directly to the ground on the base, and the emitter is biased through 10 ohms through uh, 33k with um, 27 volts zener diode here. So we have 27 volts here, and then a 33k. To the, to the emitter. So the base is uh, should be a positive 0.5 volts with respect to the emitter voltage. So but I didn't get any. So what I what I did is I took this transistor here and this two transistor I took it off and measured the resistance on this resistor here and I got 10 ohms which is good and follow the the wire the schematic and then I test the this resistor this uh, 33k resistor and I found it's open so it's it's faulty and also the the 27 volts one watt zener diode is shorted so we we purchase these replacement parts and we'll see how it goes and also for the to tone control the tone control and the volume control is not working so that's a totally different problem so when you when you input so when you input the signal here it works on some of the points it should the selector should only select either the CD or the the tuner or, or other input but when regardless of the setting of the selector switch on the front it works on some of the inputs here including the outputs of the, the this one so i suspect that the cd 4052be analog switch is one of these is faulty so i also purchased uh, two of these just to just to make sure that we have all the necessary parts when we need it so now i'm going to replace the those transistor or those uh, faulty uh, resistor here and the zener diode and we'll see how it goes we will, we will fix this one first 
Okay. Okay, this is the this is the resistor that we took it took it off and the 33k resistor. So when I measure this one, it's open. So we have this and we have the replacement re replacement uh, resistor here. We'll get a replacement. So we have this replacement resistor and measure this one. We should have 33k. But this one is open. And also the zener diode is open. This this one here. So this is the transistor that we have here. These two transistors. I took it off. This is the same value. So we're going to use the peak Atlas DCA75 Pro to test this uh, transistor. And I also purchased a transistor, replacement transistors. But I have to test the transistor first if they have the same specs. These old transistors are not are not faulty. They are good. So, but I just just want to replace it anyway. So have a look. So that's a NPN silicon BJT. So the HFE, which is the gain of 187. So. 107 with test current collector test current is 5 milliamps uh, base meter voltage is 0 0.775 so the same with uh, so that's 187 so uh, test the other one So this one is 163 uh, gain. So it's very close. So now we're going to test the new one. If they are pretty much very close to the value, then we will use the new one. Test. So 184, which is good. I think this is uh, it's a genuine. Could be genuine. The the HFE is very good. 184. This one is 187. This one is 163. Around that area, around the value. So 0.756, which is good. So I think I have to replace the transistor with the new one. So let's test also the other one so this is a 2N uh, triple five one transistor NPN BJT transistors so test wow it's 104 the same spec so for sure I'm going to use this one okay so I'll be back and I'm going to install this one on the on the circuit. Also need to replace the zener diode. We have the zener diode here, and I just uh, purchase also 4.7k just in case if the 4.7k is faulty. So I'll be back. I'll see you. Okay, now we replace the zener and two transistors, including the 33k. Resistors. Now we're going to uh, test the base emitter voltage on the left channel. So we should have 0.4 volts here, which we do have 0.415. Here is 0.415, 0.4. Here we have 0.414. We have one for this. The right channel is okay. Only the left channel. So good. So 
the left channel should work and we will try to power up the left channel Sana po ang kalimutan Ang ating nakaraan na kay 